guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am becoming a Greta Gremlin. <laughs> this is the most involved of the Halloween looks for this season, which is why I saved it for today, Halloween, the most special day of the year. This is a twist on Greta because she's not a flapper, but today I'm a flapper. I'm a uh, gloves, feather boa, fringe, bob the whole thing. I am doing a twist on Greta Gremlin from Gremlins 2. She's dressed in that beautiful red sequin gown with her pink feather boa. Well, she's not wearing gloves because she has like long gremlin claws. I wanted to do a twist on it and make her like a 1920s flapper. So I instead I'm doing a short bob you know, I've got little gloves on and I've got my little flapper dress and it's just a good time. I made these ears. This is just uh, like one of my little cat ear headbands and I cut the little ears off and using armature wire, I made the structure and then this part of the ears, like the top ridge of the ear is actually model magic clay. And I use that because it's super duper lightweight because I didn't want this thing to be super heavy. And then this part, the actual ear part, is just layers and layers of just regular tissues and liquid latex. And then I hot glued it all together, painted it, and voila. This dress I just got from Amazon for like $20. These gloves came from a Halloween store. These are like werewolf nails. So I just wore a rubber glove underneath this glove and then I just took E6000, it's like super mega, like the strongest glue ever, and I just glued them on. Easy. And then these contacts, oh, one of my eyes is crooked. Oh no! These contacts, funny enough, are the most comfortable ones of the bunch, but they keep moving. So if you wanna see how I turned myself into this, then just hang out. Coming at you naked. <laughs> Not naked. Should've got all my shit together, did I? No. Okay, let's get started. So first of all, I already covered my eyebrows with glue stick. Yeah, this guy. Although they look how they always look. To paint myself today, I'm gonna be using my Mehran Paradise paints. So I want to, I think, paint my body first because I'm gonna have to paint most of my arms, my chest and neck. And then once that's on, I think that I will go onto the face. Hopefully this stays focused on me, probably won't be. Get all up in that pit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Down the center of the chest, yellow. Before I continue painting my face, I want to map out the areas of the different color because it's gonna be kind of green on the top and then almost like a big yellowish smile, but not really. Can you not? So dramatic. Okay, using an eyeliner pen, I'm gonna map out the paint areas. So I'm kind of using my own cheeks <laughs> to help me, you know, form my little guideline because I want to try to use as much of my face as possible. And this isn't, you know, like a special effects. I'm not turning myself into a proper gremlin with, you know, horns and all kinds of bumps and warts and stuff like that. I'm gonna try my best to paint those on, but this is more stylized. So since I have my yellow in front of me, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the yellow first. Okay, now let's go in with green. It's kind of a wash. Is that what I'm calling this? To justify how bad my paint job is? <laughs> so as I'm placing this color, especially around my eyes, I'm kind of leaving some spots out because I, I don't wanna have to just remove the paint later anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the eyeshadow on and the eyebrows on, or at least leave them out because the eyebrows are gonna be yellow today. Camera is never in focus. My camera doesn't see me anymore. My camera can't see my face anymore since now I am a lizard. So that makes focusing really fun. Had to do a little adjustment. If it looks different, that's why. Hopefully if I can get an eye shape on and an eyebrow, it will help my camera focus as well. So I am going to, to sketch <laughs> this eye shape. That is a hot ass mess, but we're gonna fix it. It's gonna get better. Okay, this is just like the base layer. Hopefully it's gonna get better. <laughs> I 
took a Q-tip with some water and like removed the paint around my lips where the Gremlin lips are gonna go. And now I'm kind of sketching out the eyebrow shape. I kind of look like a Ninja Turtle, but that's okay. So to put on an eyebrow, angled brush. I look like a Mardi Gras nightmare right now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put in a little bit of eyebrow detail. So what I wanna do now is kind of tone down this green a little bit. And to do that, I'm gonna just use like a regular foundation stick very, very, very lightly. Cause I want this to be beauty makeup, right? I have the butt of my little beauty blender. And actually I'm gonna try to pick up some of this yellow and then I'll mix that with this foundation. Hopefully it'll give me a nice muddy <laughs> yellow tone. Yeah, very good. We're getting a nice good blend here. So I just keep tapping into the yellow into the foundation to help it kind of move and then tapping over my skin. <laughs> Cool. All right, so I'm gonna put more of this foundation right on the back of my hand here again. I'm gonna take our sponge, tap it in there, and run that all over the yellow part of my face. I'm trying to create a little bit more dimension. So I'm even gonna tap very lightly onto my white cream stick. So by putting down that layer of color first, when I'm adding these highlights on top, it's gonna cut down on the shadowing work, shading work that I'm gonna have to do later, so that's good. I'm gonna take more of that white and I'm gonna move on the highest points of the face. I wanna lighten up my neck a little bit, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run a very, I'm just gonna tap it. Gorgeous. I think I'm in a spot now that I want to set some of this makeup. I wanna, you know, try to put some powder on top of it. So using that same sponge, I'm just gonna dip into whatever translucent setting powder that I have, and I'm going to just very lightly press it over this face. I'm gonna be going in with shadows and such, which is why I want to set this with powder because I don't wanna wipe that stuff away, especially this, this Mehron cream stick. The coverage is great, but you have to set it because it will not set. It's very emollient and you know greasy almost. I'm only really worried about where I added foundation or that cream stick. Now what I wanna do is actually a really cool effect using some fishnet stockings. That is how I'm going to add some scaling. And these are like the wide gauge fishnets going to attempt to stretch this over my face without ruining my makeup <laughs> okay so the leg holes are right here in the middle this is fun to see out of okay so I have got a pretty decent sized fluffy brush here I cannot see anything what I'm doing here is I'm tapping on these colors kind of all around the perimeter of my face I'm being very generous with the color, but I'm trying not to be too aggressive with the motion so that I don't disturb the stockings. Not gonna focus? That's cool. Didn't think you would. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a darker green. I mean, this is like a true forest ass green. And what I'm gonna do with that is place that everywhere that I would normally contour. Can't tell at all if it's even, but oh well. I'm also gonna carry this all along the jawline. Okay, moment of truth. Let's we'll see if it worked. Yeah, that, look, that looks really good. So I definitely have like a scaling effect. That looks really cool. I'm very happy with that. So I'm also going to use the pantyhose on my shoulders and such to do that same effect, but I'm not gonna bother you with that on camera. <laughs> you won't be able to see any of this. Moving right along, I want to highlight. So I'm gonna use that blue wet and wild highlighter that I've used in like every other video just because it's like a really cool eerie effect. We need to add some more like warts or it's like the hint of warts because I'm not doing any like appliances, horns, spikes, any of that, but I'm gonna draw them on. So I'm just going in with yellow body paint. This is like the hardest look I've ever done, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> this is a lot, it's gonna take all day. All right, so with a small detail brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of darker green shadow and kind of go around all of those little dots that I put on. Okay, so the way that I place the shadow, you'll notice it's the shadows on this side because I want the light here in the center of my face. So the shadows on this side are gonna be on the outside of my face also. Yeah, see, does that make sense? Okay, so everywhere there's a shadow, there's a highlight. Those are the rules. So I'm gonna mix up some white body paint and then highlight those horns, warts, <laughs> spikes, whatever they are. I'm gonna grab a gold 
shimmer on a pencil brush and I'm going to tap that on. There we go. Perfect. That's what I was looking for. Okay. It's time to do the eyes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one eye off camera and then when we come back, I'll walk you through the other one, but you'll be able to see where I'm going already with this one. It's very dramatic. Okay, so I already laid down body paint where the shadow is gonna go, the big purple blob. You've already seen that. So I'm going to go over it with a nice light lavender color just to kind of, I don't know, try to even it out a little bit because it is pretty blotchy. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with a deeper purple color and I am just gonna, you know, deepen up that color a little bit. I'm going in with a black shadow and going up in this crease because you can see we're doing we're doing a very dramatic cat eye here. I already have the color on in that shape, but I just want the shadow to follow. Then I'm mixing together like a purple shimmer and a pink shimmer. Now with liquid liner, it's okay if it's a mess because we'll just fill it in with a pencil and a smudger brush anyways. That will do for now. Let's take a black liner pencil. Okay, so now I'm gonna put on lashes and mascara. So the lashes are ginormous on the top and then the bottoms are these little individuals. I just put on three. Okay, we're really getting close. We are almost there. So what is left is the lips. Greta Gremlin is ready for some smooches. But I'm gonna sketch out giant lips. And when I say overline, I mean like, like Trixie Mattel, overline. <laughs> yes, mama boots the house down for your nerves work. Um, we're not making fun of drag culture. Yeah, we are. Um, okay. Is that even? No. That's a start. Now I'm going to put some liquid lipstick on top and see what we get. Man, this makes me want lip filler so bad. <laughs> so I'm extending the mouth out to the side because her, her mouth is big because she's a gremlin. Oh my God, I am obsessed with this. Okay, it is time to put on my costume my wig and the rest of my accessories. Am I gremlin-y? Do you like my gremlin nails? This is my last transformation of the season because it is actually Halloween today. Happy Halloween to you and yours. I really hope that you liked watching this transformation. I loved putting this together. This was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out today and for watching my ridiculousness. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, then please let me know with a thumbs up and by sharing this video, share it with as many people as you can. I would really appreciate that. You guys are amazing and I thank you for indulging me in all my Halloween silliness. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel before you leave. Turn on the bell to get notifications for every time I upload a new video here on YouTube, which is every Thursday at noon. You can also follow me on my other socials and I will see you next week as a regular person <laughs> in next week's video. Bye! I want to look like this all the time. Do I look insane? Yes. Focus. Hi, I'm stable. Gosh, by now I'm assuming you're probably done, right? Filming? Um... Oh shit, I'm know. still filming. But, um, okay, now, now, no, no, no. Feathers fucking everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, is it too much? Hi, uh, are you, are you serious? What the fuck? Hi, I'm a lizard person. How does my camera focus on this, but it won't focus on a lizard face? In your old lady arms. Oh, this is hard. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, well, before my eye goes wonky again and I look like a goat, painted. Murray, what's he got? Is it really bad? It's really bad. Shit. Wow, what am I fucking talking about? <laughs> I transform myself into myself. Oh, we gotta fix your wonky eye. <laughs> is it a goat eye? <laughs>